In today's news, founder of Stella, Jed McCaleb, can be heard in this interview telling you precisely why assets like XRP are destined to soar to the moon, stating, quote, for crypto to be adopted widely, you need a bridge from the existing forms of payments that people use. It's hard to get people to jump straight into Bitcoin when that's not what they want to use. They're used to using dollars or other forms of local currencies. People ultimately don't like change. The only way to achieve change is to have a crisis, a disastrous event that forces change upon you or by doing it slowly, bit by bit, behind the scenes and that is precisely what Ripple with XRP have been doing for years now as we can see firstly from the crypto Barbie here we should already remember Ripple's acquisition of Metaco which has resulted in the strategic partnership of HSBC and Ripple which is of course a very big deal but remember when Brad Garlinghouse stated Ripple has partnered with several central banks around the world and some we've announced, some we haven't announced yet, which is of course a very, very big deal. But that is not all. We can see here from XRP Daily, we have CEO of Standard Chartered who mentioned Ripple and XRP as a medium of exchange. How are you gearing up for the disruption of money with central bank digital currencies? How will it change the way you and other banks operate in future? Going back five years, we had digital currency underpinned uh, trade finance and money settlement systems. And you know, using, as a medium of exchange, using things like you know, Ripple's XRP, for example, as a, uh, as, as a medium to affect real-time cross-border payments. But perhaps the biggest interview of this video is here from Lord XRP. Listen to CEO Brad Garninghouse talking about the fact that Ripple is working with the largest central banks in the world and XRP will bridge CBDCs. This is further proof that as soon as they start, XRP's price could easily go to four to five digits. The macro environment around custody of digital assets uh, is expected to be close to $10 trillion by the year 2030. And Inevitably, uh, people are going to need a place to store those assets and uh, safe, secure, and they need to be able to transfer them as well, having good on and off ramps, uh, even the a tokenization engine. Some of the work Ripple is doing around central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. You know, I remember being on a, a call with one of the largest top 10 banks in the world and a, a, com a bank Ripple was already working with, and they were asking us about could we help them with their custody. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, speak, good day, and good night.